We are going to find out how many x for use from here to here will satisfy this equation. Notice that this right here just a geometry series. So we can put on the first term, which is 1 over tangent x, divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which is also 1 over tangent x. So that's going to write that down right here, just coincident. Huh? And this right here, we can make this equal to tangent x under the condition that if the absolute value of the common ratio, which is 1 over tangent x right here, is less than 1. Now, to stop this, multiply the top and bottom by tangent x, we will get 1 over. Here we have tangent x and then minus 1. That's equal to another tangent x. Huh? And then let's multiply this on both sides. So we get tangent square x wow cool right and then minus tangent x and then this right here will be equal to one but bring the one to the other side so we have minus one right here and this is the quadratic equation in terms of tangent x so we know tangent x is actually just going to be well negative b which is negative one right here and then plus or minus and we can just do the square root of b squared which is negative one square that and then minus four ac a is one and c is equal to negative one everybody divided by two times one right here right and as you can see tangent x is actually just equal to negative negative one which is one plus or minus all this is going to be fine Instead of square root over 2. So the truth is, we actually just need only tangent x to be the golden ratio 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 because this right here is the only one that will be greater than 1. When you put it right here, that's the only one that will be true. So, for how many? The answer is just equal to 1, and we are done.